What's up, y'all? Nature Girl 30 here, and I just saw Batman v Superman. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm gonna do my best to not spoil it for you, but I'm not gonna make any guarantees. So, just before, just, just in case I do, I'm gonna put a big spoiler alert up there, you know, for those that have not seen it yet. But other than that, here we go, <sighs> guys. This movie was a contender to be something great. It was a contender to be probably one of the best DC movies that has come out since Batman. But it fell really short. The main problem is, is the editing. The editing was all over the place. You had no idea where you were. You had no idea what was going on. You were extremely confused. You would always make assumptions. And then in the very end, you would still be wrong. And that was the biggest flaw of this movie. It tried too much to be like Marvel. It tried too much to mesh everything together. The Justice League as well as Batman v Superman tried to mesh together and it just did not work. And they need to develop their own identity instead of copying Marvel because it just did not work out. But other than that, I will give you some, some good things about it. When it comes to Ben Affleck being Batman, he was spot on and he was amazing. He was actually the guy that stole the show. This was more of a movie about him, the Superman. Even though it was pretty much giving you an idea on what would happen at what happened after Man of Steel, it still was more about what Batman was going through, more on a humane level. Because he saw a lot of death, he saw a lot of destruction that was going on around him. For those that actually did see the trailers, you pretty much know what he actually did see and what he went through. And also, speaking of trailers, everything that you have seen in the trailers, unfortunately, you will see in this movie. There's not going to be a lot of surprises, but there will be some. And there might be some that you may like or may not like. But as for the characters themselves and the actors and actresses that actually play these characters, Henry Cavill, of course, great as Superman. He was in Man of Steel and he is here now. He definitely plays more of a Boy Scout, kind of give you more of a, um, kind of make you more reminisce, more of, um, of Christopher Reeve's um, version of Superman because he was a true Boy Scout. Henry Cavill definitely does bring the true Boy Scout as Superman. and But but in this case, instead of him playing nothing but, you know, truth, justice, in the American way, while Christopher Reeve played the comic book version of him, Henry Cavill plays the more like the the, the virgin of him. Like, seriously, like, you know, a virgin that, 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 you know, that experiences love for the first time and experiences anger and emotion for the first time, you know, a teenager growing up, I guess. But... He is, he, he's more still experiencing his emotions, what they all mean. He's like a young child. And I guess that's where you can probably say it like that. He's more like a young child or adolescent that's growing up and starting to learn more about himself and learning what he's done. And I mean, and, and that character, Henry Cavill does literally encapture what Superman is supposed to be. And him, and, and also more of a humane version of him too. As for Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, by far, is one of the best Batmans I have ever seen in my entire life. He was able to not only pull off Bruce Wayne in a very great way, in a very um, humane, not really humane, but more of a realistic way of Bruce Wayne. He was also able to pull off a very dark Batman, a true Batman in my opinion. And he did a great job doing it. I enjoyed seeing him on my screen. I enjoyed the battle scenes that he was in. I even enjoyed the Bat armor. I loved everything about Ben Affleck. And also, there was a lot of scenes in this movie that we did not know that he was going through. They didn't really dive into it in detail. But you can get an idea that something really bad happened to this guy. Really, really bad happened to Bruce Wayne. But, and for those that do know the lore, you know what happened to his parents. But it's a lot more than that. And that's what I enjoy about this movie is seeing his character evolve um, from being going from dark to darker. And then pretty much you know changing in the very end but then moving from batman let's talk about gal gadot gal gadot as diana prince slash wonder woman was awesome even though her cameos in this movie was extremely brief it was enough to still get you hyped up for the standalone and they did a good job with that there and i enjoyed seeing her on my screen she did have a bit of an accent but her accent really did bring a a really nice touch to wonder woman i'm just saying i enjoyed it and she was great as as um diana prince even though we didn't really know her name throughout the entire movie they pretty much kind of gave it up at the very end like her last name but honestly she was awesome she really really was i enjoyed her but let's get into the characters i did not like now 
for those that do know me, you know I'm not a big fan of Lois Lane. I will never be a fan of Lois Lane's. And you guys know how I feel personally about her. But I will say this. She did have a significance in Man of Steel. She did not have a significance in this movie. They tried to have her in it because she, the fact that she knows Superman. But seeing how they're actually t trying to tie in what happened to Man of Steel into this movie, she had to be in it. Even though, in my opinion, they just shoehorned her in there and they really didn't have a reason to have her continue throughout the movie. It should have been something that lasts a second. and then, Or maybe a brief cameo and then she'll be gone. But they had her throughout the movie and it made no sense to me. And then let's talk about Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Okay? If you took the Scarecrow from Batman Begins and then you take the Riddler... For, um, for Batman Forever, and then you also take the Joker from The Dark Knight and mesh it all together, you get Lex Luthor. Not a big fan. <laughs> Lex Luthor is more of a psychopath than he was a megalomaniac. And I enjoyed the Lex Luthor of not only the, um, the anime series, I also enjoyed him as the comics and also in the movies because he had charisma. He had flair. People liked him even though he was crazy. But he didn't show his crazy. He was really clever and very smart. He would always brag about how intelligent he was. But this guy was flat out crazy. He just was. He was a mad scientist. And I didn't like that about him. Plus with Jesse Eisenberg, his character always, he, he kind of reminds you of a trust fund kid you just want a dick. Like seriously, just want to just punch square in the face for just being a jerk. That's every character he has ever played. And... Even though he's a bit of a psychopath, I just didn't enjoy him throughout the whole movie. I just didn't. I'm sorry. And not only that, you didn't really see him having a reason to hate these guys. Ever. And I might be giving away some major plot points, but like I said, spoiler alert. He had no reason at all to be angry at Superman. He had no reason to be angry at Batman. And his reasoning for doing this and trying to pair them together was stupid. It just was. Not to mention that he actually, some of the things that he did could have ended really, really quick. Like, seriously, it could have ended like that. And I don't know why it didn't. But other than that, the finale, like I said, for those that have seen the trailers, it's exactly like the trailers. It is exactly like the trailers. Except, again, it was a huge I mean, it, you can smell it. Like, there was so much religious undertones at the very end. And I'm like, why? Like, I thought we escaped this whole dumb philosophy thing. But there was way too much of that. And that's just the one thing that kind of bothered me. And I know they're trying to make the comparison. But honestly, they just need to stop. They really, really, really did. The ending... I will say it was a bit dramatic. For those who are fans, they're probably not going to be happy about the ending. But I will tell you this. Don't let it fool you because it ain't over yet. But honestly, it had the possibility of being a contender. It's not a bad movie. It's a great action movie. But I really feel that maybe the maybe um so the, the corporations and maybe the director or maybe the producer tried to mesh everything together and make it more of a Justice League movie than it was about Batman vs. Superman, which is something that they should not have done. And that's just my humble opinion about it. They should, they should have just made it a battle between those two instead of trying to mesh everything together about Batman vs. Superman. That's what they should have done. But unfortunately, they didn't. They shoehorned far too many things in. They shoehorned four members of the Justice League in, well, three. Then they had way too many dream sequences to where I didn't know what was going on. There was a scene that they should have taken out at the... And I think it was like towards the middle of the movie that made no sense whatsoever. But honestly, the, the edit, like I said, the editing was just really bad. But other than that, Ben Affleck was great as Batman and Bruce Wayne. Gal Gadot was really great. At, um, uh, she was really great as a Wonder Woman and Diana Prince. And, of course, Henry Cavill was also great as um, Clark Kent and Superman. Those are the great characters of this movie. I will say those, those three really do carry the movie, and I enjoy it. But, like I said, they did kind of fall short. Because, I'm going to be real here. If you got people having sex in the top row of the theater, and another group that's having sex next to you, and then you also have kids that are falling asleep in the front row, then that means that something is wrong with your movie, and you probably need to fix it. 
But guys, I want to hear your thoughts about Batman vs. Superman. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What was your favorite part of it? What was your least favorite part? I am curious to hear y'all's thoughts. Nancy Girl 30 signing off. Peace out, y'all. Later.